Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Hal Baby. <coughs> Our reindeer. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Two single moms here at Walker's. At <laughs> <laughs> Kid Rock's chilling the most. Seventh annual cruise. And <laughs> God <laughs> willing, <laughs> shit. <laughs> We're fucked up at five o'clock. <laughs> Where are my shades in the room? Okay. So, uh, we had to tell you what um, happened so that I could remember it because I. <laughs> I'm afraid I won't. So this is what happened. Okay. So today, when we were on the deck, we heard that Kid Rock was over there. <laughs> on the lower deck. The that was section, the stage. That was sectioned off for equipment. So we went up and stood over it. <laughs> Directly above his head. <clears throat> so we watched for a minute. And when it got to a point where... I felt like I could yell at him and him hear me and be able to communicate. I was like, Bob. He looked up and said, um, oh, he didn't look say he anything. Didn't say. I said, Bob, I said, I started your GoFundMe account. And he said, it was you? I said, yes, and me. And he started laughing. <laughs> and then he started telling the people that were standing around him what it was. Yes. So that was kind of it. Went about the day. And I said, what if we go down here? <laughs> and we went down the steps and waited by, yeah, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we went down the steps and waited by the gate where, oh my God, his head just <laughs> fell off. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. <laughs> so we were waiting by the gate. He came over and took a few pictures with people that were like in front of me. We were like three deep. And I struck up this conversation with this guy on the other side of the gate over silly stuff. Like we bumped arms with our hands propped up on the gate and he was lighting a cigarette in his shirt and we were talking about that. And so anyway, it didn't look like Kid Rock was going to come back over there to where we were, we were afraid uh -huh. he was going to leave. So I said to the guy, Hey, would you mind whispering something in his ear for me? He's like, no, what's that? And I said, can you tell him that I'm the girl who started the GoFundMe page and I'd really like a picture with him, please. And he was like all excited because he said he saw it and he was talking about how funny it was, blah, blah, blah. So he walked straight over to Kid Rock and he said, Hey, GoFundMe girl is here. She wants to take a picture with you. Kid Rock said, sure. Where the hell is she? <laughs> And he walked up to me, and I like Tammy's. He walked straight up to her, threw his arms around her neck, and gave her the longest hug. Like, I've missed you, haven't seen you in forever kind of hug. Yes, like friends. I didn't think they were ever going to stop hugging. Seriously. <laughs> and then, oh, what happened then? Um, and then you asked him, so I just have to know, what, what did you mean by shit yourself? And he just started talking about it, saying how funny it was. He said Uncle Cracker sent it to him at like yes. 6 a.m. that morning, and that's how he saw it. And then he um, sang us a song that he had written about it. Yes, <laughs> yes. And, I mean, like, we were two inches from him. I mean, he was singing this song in our just face. Just to the two of us. Nobody else, just the two of us, he sang the song. And it had, like... Eight or ten lines in it, but I cannot remember a single Something freaking about one other than Kanye, fucking Kanye of the ass with I, Taylor Swift. No, dick. it started. I I am the original American badass. Yeah, and then it went. Basically, he was threatening Kanye in it <laughs> and said, "You mess with me, I'll fuck you in the ass with Taylor Swift's dick." Yeah. <laughs> hilarious we were freaking out we didn't even think to have the camera out because he's sitting here singing a song that he wrote about michelle's go funny <laughs> to the two of us and two of us alone talked to him for over 10 minutes just non-stop conversation back and forth and then it turned out that the guy who i was talking to that went and whispered in his ear is the guy that killed bin laden and he's here as kid rock's guest and kid rock introduced him to us and said this is the guy right here he shot bin laden three times right in the face 
And he asked if he could get in our picture with us. And he said he's going to take care of Kanye for him. <laughs> he, did. he did. I asked him if he watched Walking Dead. He said, no, he watches Blacklist. We talked about, he asked where we were from. Mm -hmm. So I showed him my shirt. And he said, he, he pointed to Valdosta and he said, I know where that is. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. And, um... And then I, when we, I, when then I asked him about Walking Dead, and I was like, "Well, shit, I was gonna ask you to come stalk with us. We we're stalkers, and we." And he was like, "Oh, I love how you just you're just forthright with it. And you're just like <laughs> we're stalkers." And I said, "No, it's not like that. We do it legally. We don't trespass and shit like that." But he thought it was funny. Um, I asked him if he knew Jerry Padalecki and and Mark Shepard, and he was like, "Don't no. have a clue who the fuck you're talking about." And I was like, "Well, I saw them the other weekend, and they said they know you." He's like, "I haven't done crack in a lot of years. My mind is pretty clear." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. God, what else? You got another hug before you say goodbye. Yeah, I said I'm gonna go, and when when I went to leave, I said, "Well, I'm gonna go now." Um just want to say bye and thank you again for, you know, I'm so proud of myself. I made Kid Rock shit himself. <laughs> and he hugged me again and said, thanks for the new underwear. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're dumb. If we think of anything else, he said, we'll come back. <laughs>